top of here is basically the distribution box for the electricity. Here's an inverter. And so what happens is the hydrogen uh, is pumped into the bus from the from the uh, facility that we just um, did the ribbon cutting for onto eight tanks that's on the top. And so the hydrogen then goes into the fuel cell and because of a, a, an electrochemical uh, reaction inside the fuel cell uh, converts or the, the, the hydrogen combines with water or combines with the oxygen excuse me and a uh, electron is released from that that transaction and then water is the, the byproduct and so the electricity then uh, goes into batteries that's on the battery pack that drives uh, the uh, 220 horse electric drive train that's on this bus. So basically what you have happening here is a bus is powered by electricity through a chemical reaction without any type of uh, thermal reaction whatsoever. Nothing is burnt in that process. It, it, like Very much so uh, like an internal combustion engine burns the fuel. This just is a chemical reaction. There is no, uh, there's no particulate matter. There's no uh, CO2 release. The only thing is a byproduct this is water. And what's uh, around the corner? Okay, over here, uh, there's a lot of plumbing uh, throughout the, the vehicle because since there is that reaction of, uh, of, of oxygen and water, what happens is a lot of these pipes and compressors is, is, is pushing that, that both the, the hydrogen and the water through the fuel cell. Um, and, and you'll see this, uh, these pipes here, then go to the top through a heat exchanger and uh, gets rid of the heat. Because that, that reaction actually occurs uh, because of the, the heat release of that transaction is going to be about 168 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and so you need to, to, you need to release that heat so it doesn't remain in the system. Thank you.